All right, so what's up? Quad Squad, back at it with another one. This time, it's about 3D printing again. So uh, for y'all 3D printers or people looking to get into 3D printing, uh, I'm gonna take you through all my upgrades to my Eligu Neptune 2D, two filament, one nozzle um, printer and uh, all my upgrades I've done to it. Cause I know there isn't a lot of great upgrade um, videos. I know there's plenty on Ender 3s and Ender 3 V2s and a lot of Creality, but I don't see a lot of upgrade videos for this. So I thought I'd walk you through all my upgrades, what I did to them, etc., and uh, how I make my beast look sick. Anyways, I'll hop right into it. Switch over to the GoPro. Peace. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and. Uh, Look out for the, the other videos coming. Alright, so here it is. Eligu Neptune 2. Two filament, one nozzle, two in, one out. And I'm going to show you all my upgrades I've done to it. Um, we're going to start off with the most important piece, which is the extruder. And that would be... I upgraded it from the metal extruder to one of the clone BMG transparents. Um, dual gear. Um, and yeah, it's pretty, it works. It works well. Um, you have to update the E steps and stuff like that. I'll make a more detailed video on this extruder and the Titan. I also got the Titan um, because I bought a BMG. I got, bought two of them, but one came without a spring. Uh, I got to love Alibaba. So they're sending me the new one, but then I got a good deal on this and I think I might keep it. Um, but anyways, so yeah, so I'll make a detailed video on those two extruders, but that's one of my um, major upgrades that I did to it. Um, and yeah, so that's number one. Number two, of course, I upgraded the it to the Bowden tubes. Um, I mean, I might switch it back because I had one person that's super helpful um, on Facebook, Eligu um, Facebook group. And he said you don't really need the Bowden tube. Um, you kind of want the clear one so that you can see where your filament is because you don't want a jam going up on, in there. So I might switch it back, but I kind of like the way it looks. Anyways, so that's that. Next thing, of course, is the mat. Oh my God, I love this mat. I just got it a day ago. I had a, a PEI. I mean, I started with PEIs and fell in love with them, especially with PETG, comes out with like a breeze. Um, so I had one on there before. It wasn't the greatest quality, but I was just waiting for this one to come in because I ordered it off of Alibaba. It's a F-Y-S-E-T-C. I don't know how to spell that. I'm, I mean, say that, so I'm not going to attempt it. But this one is a double-sided. So it's PEI on one side, and then I think it's... I'm not sure if this is a PEI on top, but I think it's spray-coated, and it's like a texture. And honestly, like, texture... I mean, PEI was the next level past tempered glass, and now I got this te textured PEI... Oh my god, it's like a breeze. Literally, you don't even have to pull it off. Like, I know everyone says when you use tempered glass, like, oh, once it once it's done, you it just comes right off. But that's not true. Like, you actually have to still try and fork it off, especially PETG. But with this flex plate, I mean, you don't even need to flex it. It just comes off. Anyways, so that's that. Um, and, yeah, one second. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I uh, honestly I had to tell you, I had to go and turn the heat bed back on that because I paused it while I was doing this because I didn't want the sound because this is a loud printer. And uh, I started hearing it detaching from the tempered glass because you can hear the little crack, crack, crack. And I was like, shit, it probably started cooling down. So I had to fix that. Anyways, back to the printer. So that's that. Love this, this mat. I'll flip it over later and show you that. All right, yeah. and this is what it looks like on the other side. Double-sided, PEI, and the other one. The gold, she gold. Yeah. Next thing, I got the little red wheels. I don't know if it's such an upgrade, but I love the way it looks. So I, I got it for my Ender 3. So I got it for this one as well. I also got some upgraded springs. Um, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so now 3D printed upgrades. Um, 
Number one is this drawer. Yeah, I got this drawer and let me switch hands so I can show you. Yeah, it's got a little, you know, go like that. It's got a little tool, screwdriver holder and stuff in there. I got two of the little mini screwdrivers that come with it. And then you got the drawer. Yeah, it comes out, makes it so you can still access your SD and your so under the light. Mm -hmm. This is what the one drawer looks like. Goes in like that. Bam. This is what the other drawer looks like. It's got some nozzle holders, screwdriver holders. It's all adjustable. And just like that. And it just slides in like that. Designed by Nick. Boom. Plug in, plug in. Now, next thing goes to the Raspberry Pi. I actually, the first thing that I ever designed is this, this insert. It was a drawer that goes in for tools, but then I wanted to make it so that I could attach my, like a RAM type mount, like adjustable, um, like I do for my cup holder and stuff, where it's like you twist this little knob and it adjusts, adjusts the, where you can put the cup. So I wanted to design something like that so I could adjust the screen, you know what I mean? Um, which is really cool. I'll, I'll upload it to Thingiverse if you guys wanted to use it. But yeah, so you just need a bolt. And then, yeah, I also designed on the back of the Raspberry Pi, there's a little panel that screws in for this casing. I'll also put the link in the description. And I just went and did the same thing I did to this little drawer to here. And I just um, attached a ball to the back of it and printed it. And it works like a freaking charm. Works like a charm. Um, yeah, so then next up, I've got my Wise camera holder, um, just slides in the side of the, um, bar, um, and yeah, and it's got the, up there, and then, yep, there, I, um, I have the, that's my next upgrade, I've got a Wise camera V2, um, and I up, uploaded the firmware into it so that I can use it to work with my Raspberry Pi, because you normally need a webcam, but I had one of these just sitting around, so, I figured out how to upload the firmware to make it, I can use it as a webcam, um, which is pretty, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and then obviously I've got a Raspberry Pi with OctoPrint and OctoDash. Um, yeah, I got this in a deal that I bought an Ultimaker 2, um, extend, 2 Plus Extended, and I kept it when I sell, sold it. Um, I made a good deal, made profit like 350 bucks, plus got to keep the Raspberry Pi with the seven inch touchscreen, I, I was a winning. Um, and yeah, so there's that, 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 and that. And Oh, and one other thing is I made these little, well I printed these little feet, adjustable feet. Yeah, so that you can either make it even or just stand it taller. Um, I made it so that I could actually push the touchscreen easily because my hand works better as a quad if I can get my fingers under the screen to push the button with my thumb so that's why I put those there and yeah boom and then um yeah so I'll talk a little bit which is my favorite extruder I would probably have to say at the moment oh my god freaking quad hands this because look how cool that is you can literally see inside of the extruder and let me see if I can get it focused yeah like look at that so I mean it's pretty cool how, because it has to get mounted up there, just like the, it's pretty cool. So, it, I mean, when it's mounted back here, you don't really notice, but you can't really mount it back there because of the squeezy thing, etc. But when I got it mounted up there, I was like, what? What? Because, I mean, the biggest difficulty is not being able to see what's going on if it's not going in. And you can see the gears moving and etc. But anyways. I'm going to go into a more detailed video on the two extruders, how I installed it, what I think of it. Um, if you want to see that, leave a comment in the, in the comments. Um, yeah, and then I'll put the time into making that. Anyways, yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's basically everything, I think, at the moment. I've got many upgrades to come, many upgrades to come. But for now, it's a pretty sick printer, and it looks, it looks pretty fly. Um... Yeah, if you guys want to see my next video about my other upgrades, then just leave it in the comments, and I can do that in like a month or two. 
And uh, yeah, just let me know if you want to see any other um, videos. Like, I can up, up, uh, review the Voxilab Ares. I just bought that one. Um, and then I've got my CR10 Smart over here. Oh, and that is printing my little toolbox for the Neptune 2D. Um, yeah, and it's printed on blue. And this is my CR10 Smart. I really like this printer. I'll also re review that in the future. And yeah, so now. Quad hands. Ah, ah, I'm throwing you around. All right. Quad hands. All right. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, and yeah, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. I appreciate the input and that you guys want to see more. And uh, yeah, quad squad out. Have a great day. Peace. Literally, when it's a textured, like, watch, watch, like, literally, I haven't touched it, just finished. Like, look at that. Like, it's the next level of. People always say with tempered glass, yeah, like, once it cools down, it pops off. No, no, it doesn't pop off that easy. But on this, it it pops off like nothing. I like simplicity. Anyways, I'm a huge fan of these mats. I don't even need to flex them. Literally don't even need to flex them.